what's going on guys it's Ali it's been a long time I haven't posted a video but I've been working on this 3d printed a scale chassis so we're gonna assemble that and see how it's gonna go this is only the front part so we're gonna assemble the front part today and the rear part is gonna be for next video and excuse the noise for the printer um, still working on the rear part of the chassis we're gonna test fit that later maybe in the next video so here are the hardware the drive shaft and the bolts and the bearings we need uh, after i assemble everything i know that everything works good i will put everything in the description box below and also the file this is the front end of the chassis and the other one i'm still printing both of these gonna be bolted with four m3 bolts here's the rim it's gonna have five lug nuts just like rear car so most of the parts are resin 3d printed and uh, the hub the arms the gears maybe they're gonna break too fast i don't know maybe because the resin 3d printed parts are brittle and we'll see how it's gonna go but look how good they look if they break i'm gonna have to use my fdm printer and print the arms and the gears so there are some hardware that we have to make for example this is the stud uh, come on folks okay this is the stud for the drive shaft and connects the uh, rotor with the drive shaft and we have to make it it's a four centimeter and after 11 millimeter we have to make a two millimeter and for the spare gear we need same m4 bolt 49 millimeter and you have to make a two millimeter hole after 22 millimeter this is for the spare gear there's gonna be a pin here gonna hold the stud to only let it spin and we need m3 stud it's 21 millimeter we need four of these for the arms it's gonna be here so i think that's pretty much it all right let's assemble everything Okay, the stud is locked, it's not gonna spin. Alright, next we're gonna mount the drive shots.
Okay, we have six screws remaining. Four goes here and two here. We have uh, three printed brackets here. Gonna go here and these here. I will show you in the next video how we're gonna connect the front end and the rear end together. I think for the next video we're gonna be working on the shocks, um, mounting the servos for the shocks and also the steering wheel servo. Okay, that's it for this video. If you found my project useful, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.